What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to further customize your beam tags. So although we already did that from our last video, so let us uh, modify again the family of our beam tags. Okay, so let me just uh, zoom in to this area here for my beam system. Now again, for me to be able to select it uh, one by one, so I need to remove the beam system. So I'm gonna click the beam system here. And then after that, from the beam system panel, so there's this uh, remove beam system. So you click that. Okay, and then after that, what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna select one of the tag here. Or let me just select all the beams here. So let me select all the beams before the tag. And then after that, from the instance properties, I'm going to put some information here on the camber size here. So I'm going to put um, C equals uh, half of an inch. And then for the number of studs, so I'm just going to type here S1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these uh, parameters, the camber size and number of studs to my tags. So I'm going to edit the tag and then I'm going to insert this camber size and number of studs. Okay, so let's do this. So I'm going to click this uh, tag here and then after that I'm going to edit the family. Okay, so I'm going to edit the family. And then here on the family editor, so we are going to add the number of stats and camber size parameter. And then after that, we're going to save as this file. Okay, so that we do not override the original tag here. Okay, so let's add some label. So let's go to the create tab and then there's the label tool. So you click that. And then I'll just use the tag label standard. I'm going to put one here. Oh. No, instead of adding, sorry, instead of adding, so I'll just edit the tag, so I'll, uh, the label. So I click the label, and then I'll just edit the label. So instead of adding one more. And for the sample value, I'm going to modify this. going to call this um, 12 by uh, 26. And then let's add the parameter camber size. Just double click that. And also, we'll be adding number of studs, letter N, double click, okay? And then, by the way, you can still rearrange the order of your label parameter. So let's say I'm going to click number three here, and then I can click this icon. So I can move up and down. So that's how you reorder your parameters, okay? And now, for the spaces... Or for the number of studs, so I'm going to put a prefix here. So I'll just put a uh, bracket. Open and close a uh, bracket here. And then for the sample value, I'll just type here S1. And then for the camber size, I'll just put a space here of 3. And then open and close a uh, parenthesis here for the prefix and suffix. And then for the sample value, I'll just put C equals one half of an inch. Okay, and then let's try this one. Mm, right, so I'll just select here. Uh, how about I break this one? So I'll put the break there and then apply. Then, okay. There you go. And let us uh, adjust this. Something like that. The label. Okay, and then um, let's turn on our work plane so that we have a reference here. So from the visibility graphics override, so you can type VV and then you can go to annotation categories. So let's check the reference planes here and then apply. Okay, all right, and then let's click our label. So maybe I'm going to move it below. Something like that. Okay, so this is for my uh, tag label standard. Okay, 
Right, now the next thing that I'm going to do is, I don't need this box here. I'm not going to use this. So I'm going to select all of these lines and then I'll just delete that. Okay, so that's it. So I already modified the family. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to save as this so that we don't override the original family. So I'll just use this name. I'll just, I already created this a while ago to do the testing. And let me just change the maximum number of uh, save. So I'll just override. So let's just name it structural framing tag with camber and then save it. And then after that, we're going to load this to our project. So let's uh, load into project and then let's modify. So we know that it's already loaded in our project. If you want to check, you can right click here on the blank space of your project browser and then search uh, the keyword camber, enter. And it's now there. So it's now loaded there. So let's close this. Let's adjust for us to see it more clearly. There you go. So there's our tag there. So we will be using the standard. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, let's select all of these tags here. And then let's use the tag that we have created, which is this one. So standard. And there you have it. Okay, so basically that's how you um, modify the Beam Tags family. So again, hopefully you learned something from this video. If you have any comments, you can just put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So thank you for watching. Have a nice day.